So everything is falling apart. You don't even know who you are anymore and you don't know how to move forward. Let's talk about why that might be happening. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And let's talk about what some of us might be experiencing in feeling lost, not knowing ourselves anymore, uh, too many changes coming about, and how do we move forward? How do we get through this? Well, first and foremost, let's look at what is happening on a spiritual level collectively. We're in a time now where we can't go on in the old way. I have been saying that for years. If you watch my videos, you know I've been saying that for years. But collectively, people are starting to wake up. We're going to start seeing an earth shift. We're going to see a consciousness grid shift. Everything on every level, on levels that we can't even imagine. It's all starting to change. And then we have our individual understandings of ourselves, our soul contract. And now we're being asked to crack open, let the light come through, and let your old story, however you want to see that, your old existence, let that go away because it has done everything that it needs to do. Now, where we start to struggle is where people see the changes happening out in the collective. They start to feel it too because it's a pulsation and it's the unknown. Change is scary, right? And so everybody clamps down and says, I, I, I'm not comfortable with this. I don't know what this is. I'm not going to do this. But you can't hide from it. And what's more depends on each individual, but there could be something out in the collective that is triggering you as an individual, asking you to look at where are your, you know, hatreds, where's your resentment? What do you need to let go of? Right? So there's stuff that's coming right up into our face and maybe you're just trying to live. But the feeling I'm getting here is that it's just time to work on that thing that's been sitting there. And so on an individual level, we are having our patterns come up to the surface. We're remembering the traumas. We're remembering those painful situations so that we can work on it and be free of it. Now, this isn't some fairy tale. It's not like, oh, I just, I go through all these steps and then everything is fine. No, we are going to be evolving for quite some time. And right now, I think a lot of people are going to self-centeredness. We've kind of been set up for that, haven't we? Always. And then with everything that happened in 2020, we were isolated. We were forced to look at ourselves. There was no more hiding. The world was forced to change. And you know what? As awful as those times were, we were shown quite a bit about what needs to change. This is something that will continue on. And during this process, you might start to grieve. You might start to grieve an actual loss, but you might also start to grieve what you perceive as the old you, your past. We see people doing this with nostalgia. Don't change and get rid of that thing. That's from my childhood. You can't change that. That breaks my heart. It, it's you taking something away from me. The awareness. Yes, they're even saying now this acute awareness around why you have such attachment to the nostalgia. Why do you want to hang on to an over romanticized past? Some of you have discovered this in love. Perhaps you were waiting on someone to come back your knight in shining armor to come back and sweep you off your feet. And then you realize, oh, that's not real love. Why was I so attached to that idea? Why did I allow myself to suffer and wait and hold my life up? Again, we can go into so many different examples, but you're rumbling and cracking apart. And if we start to feel lost, it's because maybe we over identify with the persona, that part of us that was put in place to protect us, that part of us that we were trained to formulate, 
to get through this world. Now that's cracking and it's falling apart. And if you over identify with that, the ego, the ego death, you feel like you're dying, but you're not. There's a light that's always been there that has been talking to us, been saying, hey, bake that cake, honey, because here I come. <laughs> I'm coming forward. Get ready. But a lot of us have gotten so disconnected from that light part of ourselves that we don't know what the heck it is when it's coming. The collective is doing the same thing. And there will be resistance to that. Now imagine, if you feel lost, what happens when the whole collective feels lost? Start tearing their hair out. They're going to start screaming. They're going to start doing things out in public. They're going to try to have control over one another. Why do you feel lost? The real question is, why don't you trust yourself? Why did you think you had to be trapped by your persona? What is wrong with some change and some shift that might free you? What have we forgotten? And that's what's going to be happening in the coming years. And I'm getting a message to bring forward to get prepared. And actually, this is the beginning of it. And this is this is sort of the universe's way of easing us into this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't even imagine what some of you must be thinking right now. But if we allow ourselves to go through that process and to know that you're not lost, you're never lost. Things that need to go away are making their way out of your life. If you can embrace this process, the beauty, the grace, the harmony that will come from that, it's not going to change the outside world necessarily. It's doing its own shifting. Doesn't mean everything's going to be perfect. But you'll be able to find perfection in whatever is happening. You don't have to push so hard to define yourself. You don't have to figure out your future right now. You have only one job, and that is to take care of yourself, to be meditating, to be connecting with spirit, not in a way to do like fortune telling or anything like that, but for your true soul growth and opening. When you feel like something's being taken away from you, what makes you want to hold on? The more you can understand that about yourself, the faster you can let it go. And then that cracking just keeps happening and happening and happening. And now more and more of your light is going to come on out and shine. And we need that right now. We need everybody to be on board with their spiritual growth. It's not something you will trip in the head on, right? But just be a part of the process of where you're at and don't ignore it. And eventually all of our light will come on out and then we can help shift this collective consciousness. It's already, it's already happening, but we can have less of this push pull. And for you as an individual, there will be less of this feeling of, oh my gosh, it's just chaos. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do about my job. Oh my gosh, I, what am I going to do about that love partnership? Where am I going to live? What am I going to do? What, what about the kids? And you know, all of this. If you do start to feel confused and lost, Center yourself, get grounded, and smile because this is the process. You are in it, and it's all happening the way that it needs to. Trust in that. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you so much love, and take care. <laughs>